stop requiring a crooked back. Tonight is the final part of the five-part series examining race. Tonight, we examine the Mexican, who they are, how they came about, and how their bone structure affects their place in the world. <laughs> where the Mexicans come, thus making it very difficult for our scientists to categorize them. Frankly, we really don't know what to do with them. We sort of just lump them together, mix them up, and see what happens. It's sort of a little batch of brownies to give you. <laughs> they are the that. They are very much-like or much -ish. They come in packs, they're very elusive, and they fit in tiny compartments, which makes it very difficult for us to track them down. Now, we do know that the modern-day Mexican hails from Mexico, Puerto Rico, Cuba, South America, Central America, <laughs> South America, South America, South America, South America, China, town. The word Mexican comes from the word mestizo, which means of mixed blood, or as I put it earlier, much like the muttish. They are like cockroaches. They seem to come out of nowhere. We can't get rid of them. So we build roach motels, call jails, and house as many as we can. <laughs> Now, these next few slides will help us understand this. Now, here you know, we have the Spanish influence in the Mexican. Notice the spine, how it's erect, like a barrel of a rifle or a strong fortified penis that's ready to enjoy life. It dresses up upon the seas and everything and anyone who can. All these four Spanish bucks came over and finally landed on the soil they were born. Imagine being out at sea for so long, away from your wives, and only having the fish from the water. These poor boys had it rough. Now, on the contrary, we have the indigenous influence in the Mexican. They were either Aztec, Mayan, Toltec, Olmec, Inca, and a host of other indigenous tribes. They came from swank royal families, you know, flat headdress. Notice the spine, how it's upright like that of a Spaniard. Only the native spine has little strength and spurious mobility. Now, when the marrying of these two cultures occurred, or raving, but that was pure speculation, <laughs> one had to give, having been erected like the barrel of a rifle, a strong Spanish male, able to easily conquer the lashes of bullets and penises, leaving them superfluous amounts of riches and bitches. Mexican was born. 